Hey beautiful people, it's Rakia and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I just wanted to answer a question that a client had and that question is, hey, can you make a video about the Sable credit card? Now, I want to make a video about the Sable credit card and I want to be honest with you guys about the card too. I have not been making videos about these new credit cards because I realized that our voice is very important youtubers we can tell you guys about credit cards that's out there and we tell you about the credit card that's out there sometimes people don't do like great detail they don't do like they don't look into the companies very deeply or sometimes we may tell you to get a credit card and maybe the credit card be good for a while but then something happens and it's just chaos so i try not to do videos on credit cards so i'm just going to go ahead and give you my honest opinion on this credit card some of these cards may not be all the way legit you guys and i don't want to say that this card is not legit i don't want to say that but all i want to say is i called this company <laughs> it was a little tilted you guys I've called this company three times, right? I called them three times. And when I called them, I wasn't able to get an answer. Around the one minute and 53, 54, and 55 second mark, the call would hang up. So I'm not sure what's going on with this car. The point that I, I called them, I looked them up on Facebook. You know, I even signed up for the car, which now I'm thinking about it, I really don't like that I did it because I'm not like secure with this card but I still want to make this video because I see it's a video out there or multiple videos out there and they get a lot of attention I don't want you guys just to jump into something and you don't know what's going on so let me talk about a few things with this credit card and if my camera keep falling you guys just don't pay it any attention it's just acting crazy but listen for this credit card it's actually a secure credit card so whatever you want to get you can go all the way you can go all the way up to like ten thousand dollars whatever you want to have as your limit you have to put that down as collateral your cash out of your account so say if you want to get you a a thousand dollar credit card you'll put a thousand dollars down you want a two hundred dollar credit card put two hundred dollars down that's that's how this card works now they say that you will be able to get twenty five dollars once you reach that 700 mark but it has to be within 12 months of use too so that's just kind of like, I guess, an incentive out there to get people to raise their credit score more or just like a reward too. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. And also too, just like, I guess, just a reward too, you guys. So you get the $25 when you hit that 700 mark. One other thing that I seen that was exciting was they said they had the MasterCard insurance. So that's the rental car insurance. Whenever you um and don't totally you know look into all the details on this too but with the mastercard if you guys get if you guys pay for your car rental with the mastercard and you waive their insurance that they're trying to get you if something was to happen with the with the car mastercard will cover it up to a certain amount certain things but look into that now i heard this about other cards that's under mastercard like the capital one like when i used to run my vehicles a while back when I had the Capital One car, I was like four years ago, when I used to rent vehicles with Capital One, I used to never use any additional insurance. I used to just use insurance by just using my Capital One car to pay for it because it was under MasterCard. And then they had their built-in, you know, kind of somewhat insurance. It's not really insurance, but yeah. So I always just use my MasterCard. Now they said they have that also, so you guys can definitely look into that. They also said they have some cell phone protection. So with the cell phone protection, the cell phone protection is more like if you were to have cracks, damages to your phones, then they'll go ahead and help you replace your phone. Now, to sign up for this account, first of all, to sign up for this account, you have to use an app. So when you go onto that website, you'll see they say open an account. What they're gonna do is they're gonna send you a text message with a link and they're gonna tell you to go ahead and sign up for the account. Now when you sign up for the account, they're saying, hey, if you're not, if you wanna build your credit in the United States, it's supposed to be for cards for people that's not United States or you just got to the United States, you don't have a social or you wanna build credit in the United States, that's what type of card this is. So they say, hey, if you don't have your social, you can use your passport. So all you have to do is download the app. So you have to download the app. After you, after you download the app, then what you want to do is you got to put your, well, what you have to do is you have to put your name, your date of birth, your address, your phone number, and your social down. Now, you'll put your social in. Now, after I put this information in, it was kind of awkward because they told me they'll verify, they have to verify me in two days. So I'm like, okay, I guess I won't have access. But then they gave me access to both cards, the debit and the credit card. So I was confused, like, okay, wait. 
do you have to verify me or are you going to give me access now that they say that they're gonna um they're gonna report this to all three credit bureaus but they're saying it's gonna take like 90 days so i don't know like if they're gonna actually report because I know I told you guys about the two more credit card where you guys can get approved for higher limit credit cards without them checking your credit, right? But with two more, that's only showing up on my Equifax and my Experian, but I believe they said it was going to report to all three credit bureaus. And you can see like the kickoff, multiple accounts out there said that they're going to report to all three credit bureaus, but they're having problems with TransUnion because TransUnion mainly you guys transunion is not playing with these fintech companies or these companies that's outside the bank or the regular like traditional bank or credit union they're not trying to have these accounts report to our credit report so we know that they're going to have problems with them now let's see what else i I, I wrote down a few things for you so actually that was actually everything on the list now this is my biggest concern because i you know I, I looked at it i was okay let me add money to my debit card, they me add money to my credit card. But when I tried to add money to it, they told me in my email that I could use PayPal. Only thing that you can do is do a wire transfer or you can do an ACH or a direct deposit into your account. That's the only way you can get money into that account. So you have to probably most likely do a wire. They say that you can use PayPal, but I don't see on there where I can actually use PayPal. So I don't know if that's actually true that you can actually use PayPal, I really don't. But I want you guys, when you look at this, y'all go look at it, even if y'all don't want to get it, it's a secured account. There sounds like so much that's good about it. Like you get 2% cash back on Amazon. I just bought something today from Amazon. But from Amazon, you know, it's multiple companies on there. I'm going to do a more review. I'm going to do another review right after this video. But you get 2% back. They're going to replace your cell phone if you get damaged or cracked. You know, you have the rental car coverage. You have so many different things with this card but at the same time with customer service not answering the phone a minute and 53 seconds 54 55 seconds they're hanging up and with them you know i don't see much on their facebook page you know but i just i think the account is good if you want to use it you know for minor things but and i don't want you guys to bank on that it's going to report to all three credit bureaus and i don't want you guys to um yeah, I don't want you guys to to get like oh, I'm getting this card because I wanted to report to all three credit bureaus. I don't want you guys to do that. I don't want you guys to be total dependent on putting large sums of money into the to, into this account until you see kind of how they work. Now they do have like the virtual debit cards. Like I have my card numbers right now, so I could technically use it. But until I wire money into that account, or I tried to call them to see if how I can do the PayPal, but they want me to email them, but until i can put money in account i guess it wouldn't even it wouldn't even matter i, I don't think i even want to try to put money into the account i don't think about it. i'm not i'm just gonna leave it alone but i want you guys to not put too much money in the account and be careful when you have this account that's it but other credit cards too you guys when you see other credit cards try to do more research do some investigation don't just take the word for it like i'm so serious about this that's why i stick to my same credit cards i know i was like oh look at this new credit card this new account oh no 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 my same ones i've been telling y'all to get i still want y'all to get those accounts like still stick to the basics what i know gonna work you don't have to play these you know games on whether they're gonna report to the credit bureaus or not because main that's the main reason a lot of us even what well, anybody we get a secure credit card anyone because you want it to report to the credit bureau so since this account we don't know for sure it's going to report to all three credit bureaus you guys i wouldn't suggest you bank on it as being bank on it as being a card that would report to our three credit bureaus and on top of that i think they said that they need 90 days to to even report so yeah you guys i don't know like i said i was kind of leery about the two more credit card it it turned out to be good you know a lot of people have the account somebody recently said they got approved for five thousand dollars you know i have the account on my equifax and Experian credit report so you know i may not you know my feelings about them may change maybe they have a lot going on maybe the customer service just ramped up because of the you know the different things that's out there other people getting into car but just be careful you guys but let's go right on into let me show you what the website look like and we'll go over a little bit more